Welcome to the Medical Device Made Easy podcast. Here is Munir Lazuzi from easymedicaldevice.com. And today, we will help you to understand more uh, the role of PRC again. So uh, we have a conference that will be planned in uh, next week uh, for uh, PRCs. And we are asking you to come uh, a lot to answer maybe your questions and also to hear more about other PRCs. And uh, for today, I have with me LM Ein, which is the president of Team PRC, which is the association for PRC, yeah. the only association that exists for the moment. So uh, thanks, LM, for coming to the Medical Device Made Easy podcast. Thank you very much, for, Monia, for your invitation. Great. So um, LM, um, maybe just a small introduction of you, but Today, as I said, the objective is really to try to explain more about maybe the the role of the, the association, the conference that we have, but also about the questions that you are receiving also from a lot of PRC. And maybe this is really related to um, to the question that uh, maybe other people ha that are listening today uh, are, are willing to ask. Uh, so uh, first, maybe a quick introduction of yourself. Sure. So I'm Elem Ayn. I'm working as a consultant in regulatory affairs and quality management. And I support manufacturers in their compliance with this new regulation. Um, and I'm also the president of Team PRLC that we have uh, created in 2020 with some other experts. And uh, I'm acting also as a PRLC for a manufacturer and also for an author representative. So I can see both parts as a PRLC. No, it's great. And uh, I think, yeah, this, uh, um, uh, after a discussion with you and also other PRC, uh, this is a role that is new. So just for clarification again, it didn't exist Absolutely. before. Uh, and there are still a lot of questions that are asked without sometimes some answers. Uh, and I wanted to ask mm -hmm. you, what are the main questions that uh, PRC are uh, asking you when they are contacting you directly? Oh, we are receiving several questions, but uh, the, the the most common that we have received is about the designation. How can I be designated as a PRC? Should I need to review my agreement with my employer or sh 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 should I need to do uh, something, a new letter? Uh, should I need an, an insurance, a specific insurance? Um, Should I need a raise or so in my salary, yeah. maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And if I support a new, some new responsibilities, yes, can I negotiate also my salary? But this is not the most common one. But yeah, I, we have received some questions about that, but just a few. And um, mm. there are also the question about uh, what are the expectations as a PRLC? Uh, are, are my daily activities... Um, Continuing as usual, or uh, will they have any, 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 you know, any, any changement, any amendments in in my daily activities? So this is the most common question that, that we receive. And I suppose that uh, yeah, uh, so people are maybe asked by their company to be PRC because they need a PRC. So I suppose it's at this moment that they are like afraid or asking, what is my role exactly? What is the objective? Will I go to jail? If I, I have also this question sometimes, will I go to jail if uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there is a wrong product on the market? So what are you telling them for, for this kind of thing? Like, what is the responsibility? Yeah. Can they go to jail for anything like that? Yeah, sure. I also forgot to say that yeah, this is also one of the most questions that we receive uh, about the responsibilities and liability of the PRLC. So the PRLC will not go to the jail if uh, he or she doesn't uh, do a penal uh, a, a penal fault, you know. So uh, if it doesn't kill anybody, if, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, so no, it's it's not really uh, like you should understand the role of the PRLC. I, I think that there, there is you, you shouldn't think about that because if you think that you can go to the jail because of you you will act uh, in a penal uh, fault. So for sure, it's it's not the, the good thing. You you you, sh you should just know that uh, now with this new regulation. Uh, the responsibilities are clearly defined in the Article 15, and and now uh, we know who should be the PRLC. There are some qualifications, uh, so you should have 
clear uh, responsibilities and and you should be the, the the best as you can and for sure your your daily activities will change because um even if uh you can uh, designate your prc uh yeah it was the quality manager or the regulatory affairs manager so uh in the most common time this person will become a prc uh but their daily activities should change because now you should have a person that uh who should have more responsibilities uh who should um communicate with all the team and uh and for sure he, sh he should manage uh the, the best as he, as he can about the, the the conformity of the product that he will put in the market so uh when you say when you talked about the insurance for example when they are asking you so what is your position on that do they need to have an um, external insurance or for the this role as prc or no it's not needed because it's part of their activity with the employer so there is no need of, of this kind of thing Yeah, this is a very good question. So thank you for that, Monia, um, because there are still some questions about that. And it is not really clear about the insurance, but for sure, if you are an external consultant, fine, if you are an external PRRC, because as you know, uh, the organization uh, who has uh, less than 50 employees and the turnover uh, less than 10 million euros, uh, you can. It is a possibility to uh, to designate a PRRC who is external to the company. So when you're external, we highly recommend that this external PRC take an insurance, a specific insurance uh, to, to protect himself as a PRC. However, uh, currently it is difficult to, 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 to find an insurance who can propose uh, an adapted insurance. Yeah, because I mean, it's a new role. So I, I suppose insurance, we say, what, what is that exactly? What is the objective? What is the role? Yeah. What is, I mean, I can, I can, I can imagine all the questions that they will yeah. have and why they can be like reluctant and say, I mean, what are we insuring exactly here? So it can be a good, uh, good thing. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And, and we worked on that in the association from two years now. We try to find, um, an international insurance to be able to insure all PRC all over the European Union. Um, but yeah, it, it is really difficult and it's still, uh, you know, we will still continue to, 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 to contact this insurance to find the best solution and because it's complicated. They, they don't know about this role. They don't know about the risk. So we are working on that, but uh, it is not still uh, defined clearly. So, so if, if, regarding if, the PRC, yeah. If 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 maybe people that are listening today that have, if I can say, some already some names of insurance that uh, can be able to insure uh, also yeah. PRC, so don't hesitate put that on the comments or on the show notes so that yeah. uh, that uh, we can send that to LM to help also the organization or contact directly team PRC and just right. tell them that you are insured maybe by this company and they understand what is the role and they can help for for that also. Yeah, with pleasure. But I know that in the local uh, country, it, it, it is easier because in the association, we try to find, a new, as, as I say, an international insurance. And that is also one of the difficulties. And okay. regarding the, the PRC who is employed directly by, by the manufacturer or the authority representative, normally he, he doesn't need to take a, a new insurance. Uh, he should be directly insured by the insurance of, of, the, of the company. But yeah, for sure, it's also uh, good to to take some information about that. Uh, is is this insurance covering my role as a PRLC or not? So yeah, this maybe is also the maybe something to yeah. ask the human resource or, or to ask the, the, mm. the people of your organization. So uh, can to just verify if the insurance is covering you as a PRLC and all the activities that you are doing also. Uh, so that uh, can be fine. But uh, as you mentioned, there is. Um, the responsibility of the PRC within his role. And if at the end he's doing something wrong, but on purpose, and maybe this has some damage to the population or to people, etc., then as you mentioned, it's more like a, uh, his own responsibility as a human or as a, as a citizen instead of a responsibility as PRC here. If he's on purpose placing devices that are wrong on the market, which are damaging the life of some people, then it's his yeah. uh, kind of own uh, responsibility instead of um, the responsibility of the of the of the company. So there is this fine line, but yeah, we have really to um, 
to try to uh, to help on yeah. that. Yeah, well, and, and clarify about that. Yeah. What, and what about? You know, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, please. <laughs> now, I j just want to say about uh, the, the, the 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 sanctions because, as you know, in, in the regulation we have an article about the sanctions, and all um, member states uh, should communicate about that. And um, and and in France, we we have now the ordinance uh, published in in April this okay. year, um, who which take in consideration uh, so the this new regulation the MDR and uh, it is clearly written the that here in France if the manuf manufacturer for example uh, forget to designate a PRLC or doesn't have any PRLC there will no penal sanction so uh, but only a financial um, sanction. So they have to pay a fee, but it's not like yeah. they will go to jail for for this kind of thing. So it's it's just Absolutely, but it's, yeah. it's just to designate the PRC. But is there anything in the law about maybe some sanctions against the PRC for what they are doing? In France, no. This is the only thing that we had uh, in my uh, knowings. Um, but uh, in other country like Italy, for example, we uh, we saw that. Um, the, the the Italian country um, has written in their law that if the the PRC uh, violates the Article 15, so paragraph three, the the responsibilities, one of the responsibilities of the Article 15 um, in its responsibilities, uh, so it can be fined and and can can receive uh, a, a penal sanction if if I if I'm not wrong and uh, can have a financial sanction also from 20,000 euros to 120,000 um, 120, euros. So it's okay. too much. And, so I, uh, I suppose it's better yeah. than to be PRC in some countries than others. So, which I find a bit like yeah. not good. I mean, is there a plan maybe to harmonize all that? Because I mean, I imagine that there will be less person that will be liking to be PRC in Italy than maybe to be PRC in France, for example, or maybe other countries, because I suppose other countries are also working on these kind of things. But uh, yeah, so I suppose there will be some new countries with other ideas also of how they will sanction, sanction this. But so if you are PRC in Italy, you can go... Um, I mean, you can have you can be fined and have to pay a, yeah. a big a big fee just for that as a PRC, not as a company, which is uh, interesting here. Um, so, any other countries or any other maybe plan for that or? Yeah, there are also some uh, other sanction permits from the other countries like the Netherlands and so on, and and this is. One of the things that we take in consideration in the association, for example, and we have already um, proposed a webinar about the sanctions. Um, so we are still working on that uh, because all the member states um, di um, didn't uh, publish their law about that. Uh, so we we are following that and, and we, we hope that we can propose also something to our members to, to know what are the sanctions about the PRC. No, it's great. And um, when we discussed uh, earlier, we, we talked also about maybe some questions that notified bodies are asking to PRC. And you had a strange question, if I can say that one notified bodies. So can we share that with the audience mm -hmm. here? Yes, sure. Um, so uh, I had a PRC who, who told me that uh, during uh, an MDR audit, also for their device, uh, I received a question about my role of the PRLC, and the question was, uh, can you prove me that you don't have any conflict, any conflict of interest with your employer? Okay. And uh, so the, the notified body would like to see if this PRLC. Uh, has oh sorry yeah if this PRC has um, uh, an action in the in the company some so shares I suppose if he has some shares if he if he has yeah. some financial benefits by uh, being part of the, of, yes. the, of the board or this kind of thing there so um is I mean I I maybe understand this question in terms of conflict of interest in the fact that you will maybe authorize to do things when it's not good 
but as you have some interest in the company, it's better that you authorize that. But um, is this forbidden by the authorities or by the legislation to have some conflict of interest with the company that you are representing as PRC? No, absolutely no. There is no any requirements about that. So that was strange. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was the objective of this notified body, but um, yeah. So this was one of the questions that a PRC received during an MDR audit. Uh, so and and especially if you, if you consider the the startups, for example, with two or one people, for example. So if the, uh, the the managing director has the qualification as a PRC, so for sure he, he can also act as a PRC and he, de- he will designate himself as a PRC. Yeah, he would not have to hire somebody else and um, yeah. can say increase his budget just because of the need of that when he, he can be the PRC. So I, I think I think I understand the idea of, of of this is just to say, as I've said, to avoid to have some uh, conflict and uh, authorize to place devices yeah. on the market that are maybe wrong. But because of financial reasons, you have to do that. Otherwise, you you'll kill the, the company or whatever. But uh, at a certain point, yeah. for me, they should have mentioned that on the legislation if they really wanted that the director of the company cannot be a PRC or this kind of thing. But I, I understand the 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 the, the point, but. Mainly, yeah. This is an interpretation. Do you, do you think there will be a lot of interpretation like that uh, within? I mean, within all notified bodies also. I, I think yes, and uh, I just would like to add some things because uh, I also asked the the question to some some notified bodies, and and for sure this is not the goal of the of the regulation to. To, to to designate himself as a PRC, so I'm looking when you have the, the the managing director, for example. So this is not the goal. So for sure, if you if you have the possibility to to designate an, another person, it, it will be better. But there is not any, any requirements about that. Just just want to clarify this before. And um, and what was your your second question? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> no, 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 it's it's just about. Uh, so as it's not on the law, for example, so. Um, yeah. uh, you you are president of Team PRC, so are you kind of also interacting with the authorities to make the link between what the people are asking to you and, uh, if I can say, uh, the authorities? So are you making this link to maybe send them some suggestions and say, you should do this or should do that? Because as we said, the notified bodies can have some interpretation also here. Yeah, we have this project in 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 the association to to write some position papers and, and share it with with MDCG because uh, as you know the MDCG has already published a guidance about the role of the PRLC about the Article 15. So th- this was the the, the MDCG uh, 2019-7, and and it can be reviewed uh, and updated for sure. So we, we we did in the association four position papers about the role of the PRLC, so about uh, its qualifications, its location, and the responsibilities of the PRLC within a manufacturer's and uh, the responsibilities of a PRLC within an authority representative. Uh, because as you know, the, the, the responsibilities also of the PRLC within an authority representative is not still clear okay. uh, at that moment. Yeah. Um, it is not uh, detailed as we can see for the PRLC um, within a manufacturer. Yeah. So even if, if this is the same, but when you are a PRLC uh, within a manufacturer and the same role within an, an authority representative, your daily activities are not the same. You know, no. you cannot control the conformity of the, of the device before it's released. So, uh, yeah, it's, so it's true that we, if we you start... are looking, if you are looking at all the roles of a PRC within a manufacturer, uh, I am PRC within an authorized representative, uh, and at the end, I cannot check the conformity of the product because I'm not seeing the products. I cannot check uh, mm. if there is any post marketing surveillance done or whatever. I mean, I, I don't know yeah. if it's something that I have to do, but I, as you said, it's not clear about what we should do and not do as a PRC within authorized representative, which is, I think, a great question. So you see here, we have a lot of things that are still unknown. So it's uh, also great uh, great to have that. Yeah, and there are still many questions, uh, as we said. Uh, and and the, the, the objective, one of the objectives of the association is, is to harmonize all this interpretation about the Article 15. 
Great. And we, we shared our position paper with NDCG, so we are in contact with them to 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 have their uh, approval that we are aligned with the goal of the regulation. So, um, uh, as we said at the beginning, uh, you are also planning to have uh, a team event, if I can say, or a team PRC yeah, event team PRC. Uh, in and yes, Brussels, yes. November 3 and 4. I will be there, so thanks for, for also inviting me. I will try to be there with my camera to try to so gather fair. a lot of, uh, of information. So uh, I hope, yeah, the, the, there will be a lot of people also that will be joining. I mean, I had already a lot of people joining and saying, oh, Munir, you'll be there, so I will. Uh, let's meet together, etc. So... Um, what what will be the topic? I mean, people that maybe are still interested to come because it's next week, so they can still join and uh, register. So for people that are interested to come, so what will be the topics that will be discussed there? Why? I mean, are we still discussing about to be a PRC, you have to have one year of experience as medical device uh, expert and uh, a diploma in science? Or are we going more in depth in some of the topics there? We try to, <laughs> this is uh, the objective for sure. Uh, so th this will be our inaugural event because uh, un until uh, this day, we, we did uh, all our events virtually. Okay. So this will be our first physical event. So this will be also um, the opportunity to meet in person. And and we try to, to, to invite some stakeholders to, to, to talk about the role of the PRLC for sure, to have their point of view about this role, about the responsibilities of the PRLC. So it will be the opportunity uh, for, for the attendees to ask all of their questions uh, because we also plan uh, some speed dating. Okay. And uh, we, we try to cover all the responsibilities of the PRLC. So we will have a round table at the beginning uh, then we will have two PRLC uh, who will talk about their role of uh, the PRLC. So we will have uh, PRLC within a North representative and the PRLC within a manufacturer. Um, then we will have uh, some key speakers like uh, Eric Bolbrecht and Cécile Terjali. So there are some lawyers who will talk about um, the, the, the liability of the PRLC and the uh, ethical part because it's really important that in, as you, uh, um, you should know that when you will be designated as a PRC, it's you you you, sh you should be a PRC. So in in a whole person, you know the the character also. It's really important because you you will manage some pressure. So it's really important that as a PRC, you can uh, have uh, you, you can communicate easily with the, the the company with all departments and and you should uh, be able to 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 to, to manage uh, to manage and, all and the have, tasks. and have also ethical yeah. if i can say be also ethical yeah. in your way to behave if i can say with the with, with the company yeah. and with everybody i suppose absolutely yes so this is uh, a really important role so th that's why i said your daily activities will change uh, even if you were uh, a quality manager or regulatory yeah. affairs, now as a PRLC, it's you know it's uh, a level higher. Level. Level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, if if I am, I mean, if I'm listening now uh, today and I think, oh, should I come or should I not come? So what would be your argument to say yes, you should come uh, to to those people there? Oh, for sure, you should come. If you're a PRLC or interested to, to be designated as a PRC, for sure, you should become because, uh, as I said, we will try, try to, to cover all topics also. And it's really important also to meet some experts. You will have the opportunity to ask your, your questions yeah. in person. Uh, and yeah, it will be also the, the opportunity to, to do some networking also. And we will have some people from all over the world. And uh, we'll also have some people from RAPS. Uh, Rob support the association now, so ah, yeah, to them. So yeah, <laughs> MDCG. And, I, I heard that MDCG also will be joining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'll have right. two people from MDCG, so Ola Daly and, and Mario Gabrieli Coselu. So thanks to them, we'll oh, also great. have uh, uh, Slim. I, yeah. I'm talking with Mario. I, I mean, sometimes I'm talking with Mario on on, uh, yeah. on LinkedIn, but I never met him, so it's great. I will uh, will meet him for the first time. Great. <laughs> yeah, and we will also have uh, Françoise Schlemmer from from Team NB. So okay. Thanks to her also to to have accepted our invitation. Christopher Kip from BV Med, um, uh, so Germany. Yeah. And yeah, so we'll really have some key speakers 
We yeah. talk also about the technical file. We'll have a notified body, so Eurofins. We will have. A, a, yeah. So I, I mean, and, and there seems to be a lot of great att attraction also from from the authorities yeah. or, or groups, etc. I mean, I'm really happy then to be there because I I wanted to speak to some people from Team NB, for example, to see if we can make some podcasts together also, uh, or some other organizations. So I, I mean, this kind of networking yeah. can also help you to broaden, if I can say, your uh, link with uh, many people. So yeah, don't hesitate to join us and to come. And uh, there is a dinner that is included also uh, that we are also That's being nice. able to enjoy some some time also with, uh, with together, I, I heard. Yeah, and we'll try to do this in, in a funny uh, atmosphere. Yeah, great. So I hope that you will appreciate that. Yeah, I think that it will be important to, to meet in person and discuss this role because it is still unknown. So we should have many questions. And it's really important to, to, to know now what are expected as a PRC. Great. Um, so... If I want to join then this meeting or this event, what should I do then? Where should I go? So all details are in the website. So www.teamprc.au. Uh, or you can also contact us directly by, by email. So I think that you can also find it in, in our website. Great. I will put anywhere all the information in the show notes. So just click on it. Go on the show notes, yes, click on it, and you'll find that. Um, I will uh, I will try to uh, yeah to have everything available. And as I said, I will be also there. So if you are also interested to meet me, so don't hesitate. Just ping me on LinkedIn and just tell me that uh, you'll be there so that we can organize maybe some uh, some discussion also. Uh, but I'm also happy to be there just to learn more because as I said, PRC is also a new role. I am PRC and maybe myself, I have also a lot of questions. Uh, should, can I do this or can I do that? Which would be also a great, uh, great experience. So uh, thank you, uh, LM, then for, for this uh, Uh, for this information on the podcast um i'm i'm sure it will be a great event so let's have this first edition let's say it's a really first one and that it will be a second and third etc uh, that will be coming I but hope. first edition <laughs> Brussels. I yeah. hope so. Thank you very much, Monia. Thank You're you very welcome. much for Okay, so thanks everyone. So if you are listening to that, so don't hesitate to go also on the show notes to look at all the details uh, for this event. Uh, and um, as I said, uh, if you are also willing to to meet us, don't hesitate to uh, to inform us. And if you like this video, the, what what I'm doing on the content, so don't hesitate also to uh, put some comments and just say that you like it. The objective is just to uh, get some more awareness from from the the, the platforms that uh, where where you are listening to that, uh, so that maybe more people can also benefit. From From the from the content, uh, so don't hesitate and uh, don't hesitate also to send me any message at info i n f o at easymedicaldevice.com. If you have any questions, if you want any topic to be discussed on this podcast, if you also want to be discussing on this podcast with me, so sharing maybe some good information with the uh, with the audience, so don't hesitate send them, send me a message and I will uh, re I reply you and, and try to organize the, the episode with you. Okay, good. So thank you, LM. Thank you, everyone, and I wish you a nice. Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you very much, Mahir. Bye.